Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Tuki and this is Divinity Original Sin 2. So we are here on this new island and things have kicked off to be a little bit stinky and poisony for some reason. I assume there's a reason for this. This is probably because I have a feeling that the void creatures or the void woken or whatever, they like to be in the water. That's just a feeling though, so I mean we'll we'll see how things go on. I've got a strong suspicion. But until then, uh all we can really do is explore. Sorry, my mouse was being a little problematic. Alright, so let us head towards the north. We had this big old fight last time and then this thing flew away. Don't forget to check every nook and cranny for potential fat loots. Oh, what's this? There's a dead bull. A majestic caravan. I remember one just like this picking me up. Oh. Could have been a shipment to Fort Joy. What happened here? Well, clearly they were ambushed by something. Not real. Void tainted disembodied hand. No, it's There's a key. Not true. Can't be true. Master Inquisitor Corpse. Uh, no, we'll talk no, to you in a second. No. Can't be real. Not real. Void tainted torso. Not happy, then. Wonderful. Well, um. No, it's pardon. Not true. Can't be true. Blank skill book. Huh. Hello. White as driftwood salt, the dwarf flinches at your approach, yet she holds a short, clean blade aloft. Her fierce stance can't hide the trembling of her fingers. Back! Get back! I'll kill you, just like the rest of them! Glancing at her clean blade, say so you know that she didn't kill anybody. She slumps, all bravado draining from her. No, 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 no. I've never seen anything like those beasts before. Are, are they gone? Um, well, everyone's gone. Her eyes widen and lose focus, as though she's seeing something played out before them. Her voice is shaky when she speaks. Those, yes, worst ones I've ever seen. Ripped through the Magisters, the Dwarves, dead, dead, dead. And the Sorcerers, Sorcerers, gone. Mm, I didn't see any Sorcerer bodies. Her eyes stare vacantly into the distance, glassy as marbles. It's not cold, yet her shivering is relentless. I... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Duna's beard. Loha. My b -b boss Loha will want to know what happened to them, but I... I can't remember. Raise an eyebrow. Surely she can remember what happened to the sorcerers? No. Ask what she was doing here for this boss Loha? Her helping sorcerers. We, we, we thought we could help them against the magisters, but... but... Oh, you're safe for now. She flinches at the slightest rustle of wind through the long grass. Terror in her eyes, she stumbles away from you. Stumble? Jeez. That was the fastest stumble that I have ever seen. Um, okay, should we go up the hill here? Certainly seems to be something going on over here. This is probably a drawbridge. Come on, yeah. come on! Oh, and then the bitch, the bitch bridge disappeared. Oh, more of these pretty things. Okay, hello, kid. Ah. The little boy lobs a stone across the river. It makes a long arc before plunging into the water below. Uh, what is she doing out here alone? Huh? Please, you have to help her. There was a a fight. Some dwarves attacked some magisters, and there were sorcerers too. And, and then the books came. Those void things. They killed everyone. And my mom got on to chase her, and she went across the bridge, and then she raised the bridge, and 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 she told me to run, and now she's stuck over there with them. 
Tell him a few pebbles won't be enough to stop them. Tell him his mother did what she did to protect him. He should go seek shelter, like she told him. Not without Ma. Family doesn't just leave each other. Mm, okay, fine. I'll help your mother. You, you, you will. I'll do what I can. Maybe, uh, maybe you can cross the river then. Ma lifted the bridge, but there's got to be another way, right? Oh, probably. I mean, I am the cheese master. Uh, if there's a way, I'll find it, and if there isn't, I'll make one. Yeah, yeah, you'll make one, and I'll, I'll... His gaze shoots to the ground. He grabs a small, flat pebble and chucks it across the river. Again, it lands in the water below, well before reaching the other side of the cliffs. I'll keep distracting him. Okay, um, insist he head back into town. You'll send his mother straight to him once he's safe. No way. Ma didn't leave me. I'm not leaving her. He performs a divine order salute. Now go out, Ma. Okay. I think I, I don't think I have my teleport gloves anymore. I sold them. So nobody has teleport, come but that on, doesn't mean on. that we can't cheese onto the boat somehow and then probably get in that house that way. Oh, there's three of them. Um, why the hell are they beating the shit out of each other? Um, they're level nine. I'm level nine. I think I should be able to take them. Or uh, I'm not sure. You guys think I should? No, well, not all of us will be able to cross over anyway. So, yeah, Ma, that's... Can you hear me? Let us pass along for now. I'm pretty sure there's other ways to get over there. Should be at least. Let's have a look. Can you hear me? Mm, definitely not this way. Ma. Um, probably into the darkness. We don't know. We'll find out. All right, keep moving. What's over here on the coast? More dead fish, I guess? Uh, yeah, that seems that the only thing that has ever happened in this world is dead fish and more dead fish. Ah, there's some chickens. Little Loretta! And little, what? Tiff. Hello, chickens. Bark indeed. Hello, chicken. Eggy, eggy, gone, gone. Baby, eggy, gone for good. Oh my goodness. Help! 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 Marge! Marge knows. Marge saw. Ask Marge. Okay. Counting your chickens. Who's Marge? Little wing. Oh, Big March. What's up, Big March? I, I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw. They were stolen. The babies. The eggs. Something took them! What happened? Horror! Thief! Horrible thief! It came in the night! It took the eggs! It scrambled away fast, fast, fast! Uh, what did it look like? Big! Big as a cow! Big as a house! And many, many legs! Too many! Oh, so another void. Where are you run off if, to? If, if I showed you, you could bring them back! You could... You... You could bring them back! Map! Map! Show me your map! Wow, a chicken that knows maps, huh? All right. In a flurry of feathers, she leaps up and picks a small hole in your map. Rude. That's where they are. I went after my babies. I saw where they went. But they've changed so much, so much, much, much. <laughs> much. Bring them back. <laughs> Counting your chickens. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. According to Big Mars, the hen's eggs were taken by a large, many-limbed beast, which is probably another one of those void-walking assholes. Lost eggs. Driftwood. Meister's house. Oh yeah, we are actually here to see the Meister. Oh jeez. I'm starting to get a feeling this map might be a little larger than I thought. Anyway, let's go look at the eggs. Yeah, I know this is quarters. Yeah, yeah, guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Stick with me, kid. I won't steer you wrong. 
Magisters, yay. Oh. Um. That looks wonderful. Is this really <coughs> necessary? Meisters? Wait, the Meisters over here? Why is she being hung? Oh god, okay, we have to go look at that in a second. Um, but first, let's check out the... I'm gonna save. I've got a bad feeling about this. Eggs? There's one unaffected oh. egg behind them. God. Perhaps there's still a chance. Where? Where's the one unaffected egg? Oh, hi. Is that the one unaffected egg? Peeper, alright. I'll definitely see what I can do. Mmm, ignition. Yeah, that'll hit everything. Wow, that just murdered all the eggs. Good. Um, so we can give haste to Sybil. Prepare yourself. And, uh, did that work? No. Sure, let's slow him. I'd like to tentacle slap them. It's not gonna be enough. That's fine. Just get closer. Chill throw! Can we knock him down? Yes, we can. Can't quite see him, huh? She's so fast. Okay. For extra damage. Jeez! She does so much freaking damage. Okay, uh, I think we can hit this. Oh, alright. Fireball time. Ah. Will that hit? It will. Can we knock the egg down? No, we can't. Oh, it popped. And out came a void hatchling. Now the void hatchling is dead. Get out of the decaying fire, please. Okay. Time to take a nap. Save. Loot this thing's body. Oh, yay. Insect leg. Ugh. Okay. Hello, eggy. Peeper, one egg. There you are, little egg. That's just one egg, but you know, I guess it's better than nothing. Especially better than what happened to those other freaking eggs. Yes, we'll go back and have a look at the why the Meister is hanging around in a second. One egg. She leaps up and grabs the egg with her foot, kicking it under her warm underbelly and settling down upon it contentedly. Shh, 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 shh. little beeper baby, Mama's here, warm and here with you again. She cocks a black eye up at you and winks. Thank you. I have something for you. Something I buried behind the coop. It's yours. It's yours. Unless some other scratchly poker found it first, of course. Behind the coop? That's probably this area here. I assume, of course. 
That's the only reason this little section would be cordoned off on the map like that. No. Maybe behind the coop is... I actually don't know. Just gonna have a little bit of a look. Peeper, can I steal him again? Is this the one? So that is a chicken coop. No? Behind this one? Okay. Nothing then. Alright. That's fine. Feels really strange. I really am exp- wait. Oh. The chicken reward. Where? Am I just not looking at it fine? I've spotted something. Oh. Oh, thank you for the ruby. It's a shiny. I was like half expecting like a giant freaking... Uh, I'm gonna skip past the magisters for now. I was half expecting like a, <laughs> a chest or something to pop out and then be like, Yo, <laughs> so chicken, what the hell are you doing? Okay, anyway, um, let's go have a look at what the hell is going on over here. Oh. Do you even know what they've done to you? I only see two. Okay, well I'm gonna save incessantly apparently. And let's see what's going on over here. I'm gonna detach you so long so that you can get up top. And the rest of you are melee so you can stick around. Let's get on top. Don't want to be down below while they are... I did not kill Alexander, you stupid ape. Release me! Hi. A Magister guard approaches. Behind her, on the gallows, two lizards. One in a Magister uniform hangs dead from her neck. The other hangs from her hands, still alive. Step away from the prisoner, reptile! Rude. Ask who the half-living prisoner is and why she's hanging by her hands. She's hanging by her hands because the boss don't want her dead just yet. She's a tough one, Master Seaver. She's a seeker, and she's a bloody traitor. Really? I've heard of the seekers. What have you heard? Have you heard that they killed our beloved Alexander? She was part of the order. You, Alexander, personally. Alexander trusted her. At least as far as you can trust her. You know, one of you. Anyway, wow. to repay that trust, the Meister gave Alexander up to his enemies. She wasn't there when Alexander fell. But White Magister Raymond uncovered the truth. She's as guilty as any of them. And I reckon she got off lightly. I'd have had her flayed alive with a salted bullwhip. I'm going to murder you. You're going to... What, now? Well, you can set her free. She betrayed Alexander. I'd sooner die than free her. Mm, well, I killed Alexander, not her. I'll regret this. I know I will. All right. I'll stand aside. Come now. Is this oh. really <coughs> I was getting ready for a big old fight. Ah, fine then. Hey. The lizard hangs from the gibbet. Her face blooded and her scales discolored. Her eyes are closed, but her tongue flickers as you approach. Gibbet. I always called these gibbets. Welcome to Driftwood, God Woken. Wow. One bloody eye cracks open. Glittering gold appearing from beneath the swollen lid. Oh. Chased. <laughs> Chased you all the way here from Fort Joy, did they? Very well, then. Cut me down. There is work to be done. Jeez. Or indeed, you right could business, stand huh? there gawping as if you were a cow ordered to dance a reel. <laughs> this is a masterful performance. I would applaud it, but well. Mm, whispered that Melody said she could train you. Uh, sure that she'll be freed, but you're curious how she knew. Reach up or do Be quick about it. Who knows when that magistrate might return? Yeah, slide through her restraints. God's teeth, it feels good to move again. Now, best scurry off before that magistrate wanders back. Meet me at my home in Driftwood, and we can see what you're made of. Yeah, you're a little torn. Honestly, can I heal you? Just get better. 
Oh, let's loot this one. Can't forget about that. Oh. Well, makes sense that they wouldn't leave shit, you know, on them. Okay, I'm not gonna go that way just yet. I assume driftwood is... Wait, is there a road through here? Oh. Sneaky. That's how you're supposed to bypass these lot. Okay, okay. The map gave it away over there. So where did she go? Oh, probably right where it says Maester's house, huh? The Hi. Meister's back. The Meister's back. Yes. She doesn't feel like playing, but. Hmm. Okay. I wouldn't feel like the playing. The Meister sits slumped in a chair, either. looking around the room as she works her shoulder with one hand. It looks like it was dislocated by the gallows. Ouch. She looks extravagant, though. Damnable red cloak baboons ransacking my wardrobes. As if I would keep ancient valuable secrets in a pearl with my unmentionables. <laughs> like, imagine just like keeping like a a tome of Atef Apol or something from Egypt goddess or something. Like <laughs> in your drawer with your socks. Wonderful. She takes a deep breath, and with a twist, a click, and a screech of pain, she shoves her shoulder back into its socket. Jeez, crazy old lady, huh? <laughs> I swear by the seven, if, <laughs> if we did not have more important matters to attend to. Reaching across the table, she pulls a bowl of hot water towards her and fishes some bandages, a needle, and thread out of a box. She slowly starts to tend to her wounds. At least the barbarians were unable to club their way into my vault. So everything you need should be safe. Good. Clear your throat. Isn't it normally polite to thank your rescuers? No. Ask what exactly it is that you need. Watch as she slowly wraps a cut on her arm, asking why they strung her up. Apparently I had a claw in murdering their darling divine-in-waiting Alexander. The Meister wrenches the bandage, pulling the fabric tight against her wound. She winces before tying it off in a neat knot, but you can see the red stain already spreading across the fabric. Never mind that. <sighs> That I was here the entire time. Apparently, my cunning transcends time, space, and common sense. <laughs> Actually, you're the reason the Magisters are looking for Alexander's killer. Well, I might as well confess. My deceiver freezes, her eyes locked on you, her claws mid swipe, cutting a new stretch of bandage. <sighs> Why on earth should I have thought anything else? Not that I was <laughs> sorry to hear about his death. No, I doubt my grin helped matters during the interrogation. <laughs> um, Grunt, and what do you need to do? I wonder if she isn't forgetting something. <laughs> Words that rhyme with thank you, maybe. <laughs> no. Um, now that you're free, we can proceed. Enthusiasm. On a weekday, my word. <laughs> we shall begin once we have <laughs> the tools we need from my vault. You may have been chosen, Godwoken, but the coming divine requires more than a supernatural pat on the head. Supernatural pat on the head. Come, Godwoken. It is time to see just how awake you are. He's got a fancy hat and some other stuff. Fine. Fortunately, the Magisters pay as much attention to art as they do to fashion. <laughs> Kindly remove that painting from the wall. Uh, this one? Wrong one. This one? Sorry. I pray oh. my instructions will not be too technical for you. <coughs> You'll tell push the button. Okay, I did. I assume we go now, downstairs. Now, kindly go to the vault and enter the combination. I shall call it out as you go. A stone door lies flush with the floorboards. Etched whirls in the granite frame a delicate rotary dial. Gleaming under the dim light, the metallic dial almost seems to wink at you. Okay, enter the safe combination. Taking your time, you carefully enter the combination. The metallic sounds of the tumblers falling within the mechanism let you know you entered the code correctly. Excellent. Follow me. Your time is at hand, Godwoken. Hopefully I'm not moving too fast. There's still lots to explore. I guess we can do that in the next episode. Oh come on, you're fully healed. Stop being weird. Feel free to look about Ancient rooms. 
weird contraptions. Come speak to me when you this wish place to. is Narkness dream. And try not to break anything in the meantime. Okay, well, you can go get some source. Ooh. Anything? Wow, there's lots and lots. Firestorm grenade, yes, I'll have that. Incinerator control valve. What the hell is this? Energy chest? Oh, this is super expensive. A source orb. Interesting. Why did it add itself to my bar? Um, anyway, where were we? Wooden figurine. That's 120 bucks. Yes, please. Ink pot and quill, not worth a lot. Firestorm grenade, yeah, alright. On source orbs. Can I read you? The most powerful scrolls are made with source orbs. These are source skills that you can cast at will without requiring source. One example is to start writing a scroll as you would write any power connected scroll with something sharp but use the source orb as an ingredient. Epidemic of fire. What the hell is that? Anyway, empty mug, spoon, stove. What's this? Realms of the scribes. I'm just gonna leave through it. Uh, ingredient cupboard, source fountain, meat clearer. Bottle filled with oil. Any weird content. Notes on God Woken Ascension. Master Steve instructs me to record my research before I conduct any experiments regarding God Woken Ascension. The ritual itself is quite simple. Place a single piece of black root in the ritual bowl. Draw blood with obsidian lance. Your own is most convenient. And sprinkle it upon the root. Set a flame to the bowl and its contents. Ensure that you have sufficient source. Inhale the resulting smoke. Beyond this point, nothing is known. The ingredients for this ritual are not rare per se, but may be difficult to procure. I am fortunate that the Maester Source Fountain never runs low, so it is simple to gather source. Blackroot, however, is another matter entirely. The root grows in the forests to the northwest of Driftwood. It produces no poison or thorns to guard it, but all manner of creatures stalk those trees. It is wise to grab, quickly grab what one needs and then return. I pray that my experiments here have here paved the way to the way for future scholars. Or should I succeed to allow any to be the equals of God Woken? Ah. Chain lightning scroll. And lots of gold. Oh, I think that... A pouch. A vial, empty bottle, laboratory stuff. Tree ties, humanity. Let's just rifle through all her things. Sure, I'll take that. Now the books. Ooh, Medusa's head. I actually don't know, know that one yet. Artillery plant. What's this? Okay, that's nice. Doesn't seem very important. Anything else? Oh, there's some vials. And grotesque jar, wonderful. Stone skin. Empty bottles. Those are worth a lot. Um, pick up? What is that? It's not worth a lot, so put it back. Thank you. Um, okay, I think we have rifled through everything. Blah, blah, blah. Good, let us... Save and have a chat. The Meister is examining her wounds, prodding at this, wincing at that. Her face seems grim as she turns to you. Do you know what it means to have the power of the divine, Godwoken? Um. Say that it means having the power to make the world a better place. Say that it means total responsibility to others. I can do whatever I want. Now, um, let's say make the world a better place. And you, in your infinite wisdom, would know what is better. Yeah. You would judge your enemies without prejudice and make decisions that could hurt your own for the greater good. Probably. I mean, I could try. No. Becoming the divine means taking on the power of all the gods and the responsibility for all the races. Wow. The divine was created by the gods to shelter us from the void. The Divine cannot use his power for anything else. Oh, wonderful. Walter Pahan, surely you can use some power for yourself. Not to understand, not 
But you're already thinking about what you could do with such power. Growl that you've already told her what you will do when the power is yours. Mm. Yeah, fine, I Very understand. well, then. Let's see if we can't snatch divinity from the jaws of the void. The ritual itself is quite simple. Drop some black root in the bowl, mix in a little blood, set the concoction aflame, and then inhale the smoke. Ignore any feelings of dizziness, burning in your lungs, or a dire sense of existential dread. They're all perfectly normal. Although you will need to sacrifice a little sauce along the way. Everything you need is here. Ingredients in the cupboard. Sauce in the glowing fountain. Ritual in the tome by the bookcase. Even an incinerator to provide a flame. The Meister looks back at her wounds, curiously prodding them as fresh blood oozes out, staining her claws. Okay, um... I'll get started. And do not lose anything. These ingredients are rare indeed. I'm not hiking back out of the cloisterwood to fetch you more black root. Okay. Opening the door, you see a selection of ingredients thrown together in no particular order. Okay, let's find the ingredients we need. After a quick rummage, you spot the black root nestled between the grated dragon's tongue and drudene oil. You gather up the black root, obsidian lance, and ancient bowl, and kick the door of the cupboard closed. <laughs> so nonchalant. Just kick the cupboard closed. All right, so that means, okay, ritual bowl, put that on the floor. Put the black roots. Oh, wait, let me guess. I have to combine it. Ah, worth the black roots. Smart. Okay. Go oh, oops. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, you guys, I detach because I want. I n I need to concentrate. Okay. Use. Ow. Oh, should I combine that again? Ritual bowl. Oh, my phone. One second. All right. Okay, and now all I need to do, I assume, is to breathe fire on it. But, <laughs> we'll do that in the next episode. <laughs> I know it's absolutely scummy and I'm sorry. Guys, I appreciate a like and a comment. I would appreciate it even more, though, if you would tap that sub button. Granted, you enjoy my content. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. And thanks for enjoying the series and so on. Check out my other stuff that I've done on the channel. We're running on about a year worth of content now. Anyway, thanks for hanging out and I'll see all you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.